What's up sinners, DGENs, winners? It's time to talk about sinner. Before we talk about what Sinner represents to the Mobland GameFi ecosystem, it's important we go over some historical context, both inside and outside of crypto gaming. Outside first. Let's talk about oil. Oil is probably the most important commodity in the world. It is, shall we say, packed with utility. So much so that the trading of this one commodity underpins much of the global economy. But what is it traded for? Well, the vast majority of oil exports are exchanged for US dollars, which is why in the 1970s, the term petrodollar was coined. So why would an oil exporter in control of such a valuable commodity want to trade it for paper? Well, that paper is the most widely used currency in the world backed by the largest importer of goods in the world with extremely liquid capital markets. And therefore, those US dollars can be then exchanged for a variety of other commodities that provide different utilities, such as steel, soybeans, and wheat. Turns out you can't drink oil. If the dollar could not be leveraged for many of these other utilities, then it would serve no purpose to the oil exporter and this relationship would not be sustained. Likewise, if the oil exporter couldn't reliably export their oil for this useful currency, the dollar, then the value and the productivity generated from any given oil rig would also drop dramatically. So there is clearly a very important relationship between commodities as assets and the dollar as currency. So what does this mean for the Mafia metaverse? Well, similarly, if in any game, the value received by a player cannot be reliably exchanged for other utilities, commodities, or things of value within that ecosystem, then the economy will simply not be sustained, as the player will have no reason to hold or redeploy that currency within the game's world. However, if the opposite is true, and the player is presented with a variety of value propositions that the currency can secure for them, then the demand for that currency will remain high. Solving for these problems is the main focus of the Mobland team as they try to level up the GameFi space. Let's talk about how they're doing this with Sinner. If it's important that there's many uses for the currency, well, what are they? Basically every commodity within the Mafia metaverse will require at some point some staking of Sinner, with the possible exception of going straight to the commodity with the Sinner pass. but. That's a video for another time. Don't even get me started on the center pass. One of the main commodities Mobland has so far emphasized is wheat. But there will be many more commodities introduced later, like, I don't know, Coke? And this is my speculation, but I would think that the Mafia metaverse might have arms dealers and ammo dealers. Really, there is many options for commoditizing elements within the game. What we know for sure is that Staking Center will be one of the few ways to acquire seed, which is a cross-chain token that can be leveraged to produce other commodities. For example, seed can be combined with weed farms to generate weed, which can be used to produce health kits that will heal your characters within the game. Expect demand for Sinner to rise as demand for these commodities within the game rises. Just like as people have more use for oil, they have more use for the dollars that can buy them that oil. Beyond commodity acquisition, you'll be able to stake your Sinner to boost the stats of your characters in the game. So between the health kits and the boosting of the stats, these are two pretty tempting value propositions for players and grinders of the game. If you just like to let your capital work for you, well, Sinner can also be staked for a pretty generous APY that can be claimed in either Sinner or S Sinner a synthetic version of the token that can only be used for in-game marketplace purchases, but will provide up to a 25% discount. In addition, turf, business licenses, and the aforementioned weed farms represent NFTs within the ecosystem that we need a little bit more information on. But I think it's safe to assume that Sinner will also be quite important for the acquisition of these elements as well. Another use that has mostly gone under the radar thus far, because it hasn't been talked about, is that Sinner can be staked for S power. Through the accumulation of S power, syndicates will be able to gain access to some of the levers of power within the Mafia metaverse. The top seven syndicates by way of S power 
will sit at the high table, which is a governance committee shaping certain earnings events and having a say in various earning allocations as well. I don't want this point to be lost because if we think about the long game here, and what creating a truly vibrant and successful ecosystem could mean, it's tough to put a hard price on having a strong voice in shaping the future of the ecosystem, and it could be a significant factor in the demand for Sinner as well. All of these staking incentives for Sinner is really a way to reduce the circulating supply, which, if we know anything about supply and demand, is pretty good for price action. And as additional games and partners enter into the ecosystem, they will also introduce more utilities for having Sinner and even some deflationary mechanisms as well. So to own Sinner is to own part of the Mafia metaverse. As more players enter the space and find value in it, that value will be captured within many of these commodities and assets within the game and they're all denominated in Sinner. Knowing all this as a player and an investor, you must decide the position you want to establish with Sinner and where to allocate it. If you are a grinder, then perhaps more of your Sinner goes towards staking to boost your characters in the game. As a capitalist, you may want to consider the different staking pools and the rewards associated with them. If you want to run a pharmacy, it's going to be pretty important to supply that pharmacy with weed that can be used to make health packs. Now, Sinner can help you buy some of that weed on the market or it can help you generate seed so that you can grow the weed yourself. If you're a mob boss and you really just want to protect the interests of your syndicate within the Mafia metaverse, it might be very important to you to accumulate Sinner in order to collect S power so that your influence is the strongest at the high table. So to wrap it all up, let's ask ourselves, what really is this for? Well, it's for whatever you want. And what's Sinner for? Well, it's for whatever you want in the Mafia Metaverse.